please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. On today's show, find out more about upcoming sporting events, when your club and organizations are meeting, and the helpful hands that guide the high steppers. I'm Zoe Bryant. And I'm Julia McComas. And Coyote, Coyote Nation TV, TV Live starts now. now. Good morning, Coyotes. I'm so glad the week is almost over. Me too. With progress reports coming out soon, it's just been really stressful this week. Yikes, I almost forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, I have so much work that I have to do, and I don't know how some students can do it. I don't either. I have some friends that are on drill team, and they wake up at 5 in the morning and can still function during class. Yeah. Speaking of drill team, CNTV's Kyle Lee explains the work that lies in the hands of the drill team managers. They may not be dancing on the floor or on the field, but the high steppers managers play a huge role for the drill team. They do things like carrying extra equipment. We have their cooler with like their food for like third quarter during the football games and like we have like extra tights and a duffel for them and extra palms if they forget them and makeup for touch ups if they don't have their makeup. So basically we meet the team's needs. So um, we have like all of their emergency equipment if they have like an accident or anything. Even though dancing is the main focus for the audience, there are many other things that wouldn't be done without the help of the managers. Like we wouldn't have a lot of this stuff, like if someone's like sick and needs something, they get it for us. It would be a lot more hectic at practice in the morning because they like basically do everything. Like they play music for us and they get like if we need something, they'll get it for us, and they sort everything out. The music, the costumes, like everything about like organization wouldn't be done without them. Mel and Brooke have the same responsibilities as the dancers. Their grades, attendance, and discipline are monitored in order to participate. Managers are a valuable part of the team. Some of the dancers would like to give thanks. Thank you, Mel and Brooke, for all you do. Thank you, Mel, for always being sweet and helping the team be better. And thank you, Brooke, for doing this for two years and waking up at 5 a.m. every morning and not being tired of us or tired of drill team at all. Always being selfless and always like, supporting us, even though they don't get like the glamour of being like on the field. I'm Kyle Lee, reporting for Coyote Nation TV. That was incredibly interesting. I think it's really nice how they're always willing to lend a helping hand. Yeah, make sure you wish them luck for this weekend. Cool. They're competition is. Cool, I did not know that. <laughs> well, we have a lot of announcements for you guys, so let's get into them. If you're interested in trying out to be a cheerleader or a mascot, the mandatory meeting will take place in the cafeteria tonight at 7. Sophomore registration is happening this week during their social studies class. Registration for freshmen will start tomorrow during their social studies class. There will be a powerlifting meeting here at 4.30 this evening. There will also be a track and field try meet today at Frisco High School. The Politically Active Youth of America, or PIA, will be meeting tomorrow and every Friday morning at 8.20 in Mr. Massey's room, C212. New members are welcome. The Japanese Animation and Pop Culture Club will be meeting tomorrow. At this meeting, they will be continuing their anime voice dubbing project. Academic UIL will take place in the Prosper Invitational Tournament tomorrow. Varsity Tennis will be competing in Grapevine tomorrow morning at 8. Boys Basketball will play against Lone Star High School here tomorrow evening with JV starting at 445. 
Ninth grade starting at 6 and varsity starting at 7.15. Boys varsity wrestling will be competing in the District 8 competition at Pros Prosper High School tomorrow. Tomorrow, girls soccer will play against Reedy High School. There, with JV starting at 5.30 p.m. and varsity starting at 7 p.m. Boys soccer will also play against Sweetie High School tomorrow evening here with JV2 starting at 4.30, JV starting at 6, and Varsity starting at 7.30. National Honor Society applications will be available next Monday through Febru February 23rd in room B114. Well, that's all we have for you today, Coyotes. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at CoyoteNationTV. And check out packpage.org for more content. I'm Julia McComas. And I'm Zoe Bryant. And you stay, stay classy, Coyotes. Coyotes. So what are you doing this weekend?